Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is another recall, and I guess it would be important if it has to do with you, and I'll explain why. All right. Recall alert. GlaxoSmithKline recalls more than 430,000 bottles of Excedrin. Now, isn't this one of the contenders for the vaccine? I, I mean, I keep hearing their name come up, but I don't know. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. This says, um, oh, that has nothing to do with it. All right, let me go past this. Um, it's by Kelly Dugan Cox Media Group. National Content Desk. Updated December 23rd, 2020. Drug maker GlaxoSmithKline issued a recall Wednesday for more than 430,000 bottles of Excedrin due to a manufacturing defect that may have left holes in the bottom of the painkiller bottles. Now, you might say, what's the, what's the problem with that? Well, kind of obvious, germs could get in. If you set your bottle down in water by mistake, because we get water on our counters, you might take them down, take a couple, put it down in the water before you put the lid on and put it back up. That could cause a problem. The last several pills might be able to soak up water I don't know but my biggest thought would be that germs would get in all right let's see what they say the full recall includes many of the companies over-the-counter aspirin and acetaminophen based products sold nationwide between March get this 2018 and September of 2020 that's a pretty wide range of dates to be just now finding out that these products have holes in them. No injuries or incidents have been reported, but the products sold under the brand names Excedrin Migraine Caplets, Excedrin Migraine Gel Tabs, Excedrin Extra Strength Caplets, Excedrin PM headache caplets, those would have Benadryl in them, most likely, and Excedrin tension headache caplets have been deemed to violate the Poison Prevention Packaging Act. The act mandates childproof packaging for a lengthy list of potentially hazardous household products. <laughs> My dog loves to take his little balls. He's got these little fuzzy, they're dog toy balls. And he throws them in the air. And he doesn't seem to try to catch them, but just see where they go. And then he goes to get, get it and he throws it in the air again. Or he throws it across the room and like he's playing fetch with himself. <laughs> it's so cute. And now and then, he'll bring it over here and get me to do it, <laughs> which I love. All right, so anyway, all these different products have been deemed to violate the Poison Prevention Packaging Act. The act mandates childproof packaging for a, a lengthy list of potentially hazardous household products, including over-the-counter and prescription drugs. Oh, the act mandates child-proof packaging. Well, you know, I doubt that holes in the bottom is going to let your kid get into them if the cap is made right. So anyway, I'll leave a link if you care to look at look look more, okay? But I thought I'd better mention it in case some of you are taking these on a regular basis. I've been taking aspirin instead of a, another blood thinner uh, since I ran out of the other. Uh, 
and I'll tell you why. You know what? Call me a conspiracy theorist, but um, I have a new theory. <laughs> yeah, I have a new conspiracy theory. Okay, I was scratching my arm over here. Just, it was itching. And didn't realize it, but I scratched off a little bump. I have these little, they're called skin tags. When you get old, you get them. But I must have had one over here and didn't know it. Because they're very inconspicuous when they're tiny. So it left a little bitty hole where now there was no skin. And I, and I said, oh... Oh, well, that's no big deal. And I let, I didn't really pay it any attention. And about a minute later, I'm looking down. And here I am now. I'm on Elquis now for nearly a month when this happened. And I watched the blood come out very, very slowly. It formed a tiny little ball and then quit. Didn't get no bigger. It did not get any bigger. I wiped it with tissue, and it happened again. It kept it come out, formed another little ball. And I'm like, man, when I was on Coumadin, that would have just run out and run out and run out until I put pressure on it, and then a Band-Aid, and then more pressure. So I got to thinking, what if that was a blood vessel? I don't know. I, I know just enough to be dangerous, folks. But I got to thinking that stuff. I told that doctor I was leery because not all medicines work the same on everybody. And they don't do any blood testing. They probably wouldn't even approve it if I asked. And... Oh, that's just crazy thoughts. Right? That it would cause a clot. It's mighty funny. I used to be on one baby aspirin and he put me up to two baby aspirin after the ablation and put me on that eloquence and said, start taking two baby aspirin. Like one wasn't enough. I thought I wouldn't have to take any. Anyway, I've got way off subject. I'm going to end this here and say, for those of you who celebrate, even though we know Jesus wasn't born on December 25th, if you still celebrate it, then I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And for those of you who don't, then I just want to wish you a good night and blessed day tomorrow. All right? Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.